The citizens, the private sector, commended him for his decisive action against corruption. Now the Prime Minister finds himself under the spotlight. And I don't think that if anybody should have to say to him, do what you demand of everybody else. The Prime Minister is at the head of the stream when it comes to national governance. The Jamaican people are growing increasingly cynical that there is no accountability among the political class of the country for wrongdoing. This referral of the Prime Minister for possible prosecution by the country's principal anti-corruption institution raises serious questions about integrity, credibility, and his fitness to lead the country. The Prime Minister cannot remain in office while this possible prosecution for corruption charges is hanging over his head. I am therefore calling on the Prime Minister to do the right thing for Jamaica. He must now, at a minimum, take away himself on a leave of absence until this matter is finally resolved. Nothing less than that will do right by our country at a time like this. I think it's good for Jamaica that the Integrity Commission has shown that it has a level of independence and objectivity that it can refer the Prime Minister of the country, the head of government, to the Director of Corruption Prosecutions for possible prosecution. That shows an institution that has at least demonstrated that it's trying to comply with its statutory mandate and the principle that no one is above the law. You spoke about the Prime Minister's 2021 statutory declaration that has not yet um, been certified up here. Uh, there has been a lot of discussion around this. Um, the public is unaware as to exactly what is happening based on the legislation that you are familiar with, with the gap law, so to speak. What step or steps can be made at this point in time to you know, remove speculation and the persons to be practically in the dark on this particular issue, which is an issue of national importance? What can be done in your view um, to be fair to the Prime Minister? Um, what can be done, if anything at all, to you know, remove any speculation that is over the court? Well, First of all, I would imagine that the power lies with the Prime Minister to deal with whatever it is that has led to the inability of the Integrity Commission to certify his declaration. But in the absence of him doing so, the Integrity Commission is a commission of Parliament. It reports to Parliament. Indeed, it is this report on the matters that relating to this company's contracting and the connection of this company with the Prime Minister, um, in uh, the principles of this company with the Prime Minister in many other businesses and so on. That has come to Parliament as a report. It's now in the public domain. And therefore, the, the media and the public at, at large are, are, are with, free to comment and analyze it, discuss it, etc. In relation to the matter you've asked me about, which is the uncertain the fact that the Prime Minister's declaration has not been certified by the Integrity Commission. The Integrity Commission could issue a special report to Parliament on the circumstances around that. And that would therefore bring the matter into the public domain in terms of where it is, what the reason for it. And we could, you know, would clarify what is now the subject of uncertainty and some amount of speculation. But from my point of view, it is a situation which is not good and indeed problematic in the governance and administration of the country that the declaration remains uncertified for such a long time. You know, the, the law was passed and with a specific provision requiring the certification of the declaration 
by the Integrity Commission of the Prime Minister. And the Leader of the Opposition, indeed, a summary has to be published. And in my case, it has been, because mine has been certified. But the Prime Minister's remains outstanding. To my best knowledge, there is no statute of limitation on corruption. So it matters not whether or not the corrupt activity took place yesterday, took place 10 years ago, 15 years ago, the matter should still be there too. Additionally, these matters came into the public domain about eight years ago. And the Prime Minister and his attorneys took an injunction, took out an injunction to bar the media from carrying this matter. All it's then come back at a later date and say, no, this is state news, is what I think they're trying to say. Now, this has continued to where the final, the immediate integrity report that the Prime Minister has submitted is still not certified. How much more of this is the public willing to take before they decide that it walks like a dog, quacks like a dog, but maybe it is a dog? I recall that the People's National Party had a press conference one Monday afternoon in which some allegations or questions were asked about the conduct of his minister, Roy Reed. And by Wednesday, Roy Reed was removed as a minister and from the Senate, which is, is almost, that is also unprecedented. I recall that when we had the Petrojam scandal, Minister Weekly was demoted and he has never returned as a minister to the cabinet of Andrew Hones. I recall that J.C. Hutchinson, after an in investigation by the Integrity Commission, was reassigned to Jamaica House, as so many people have been. He, uh, Floyd Green joined him there. So did Montague. And at all times, the press, the citizens, the private sector commended him for his decisive action against corruption. Now the Prime Minister finds himself under the spotlight. And I don't think that if anybody should have to say to him, do what you demand of everybody else. Those were mere allegations. There were no convictions. There was no testing of any matter in the court. But you, as the anti-corruption czar, the Prime Minister who was demonstrating how indignant and how intolerant he was of evil, the mere suggestion that any of his ministers would be corrupt. But he must now see that it is time for him to act. And that is compounded by the fact that he cannot be certified. His declaration cannot be certified when the, our leader, the leader of opposition, has had his certified. I noticed that the director of um, investigation was also referred this report to the Speaker of the House, where said that that is prepared for her to take whatever necessary action. Are you uh, sampling that the Speaker will address this matter? How would you want to see the Speaker address this matter? Yeah, I mean, there are possibilities in terms of what can be done. First of all, it has been tabled in Parliament. Parliament should pass a motion referring it to an appropriate committee for consideration as to what action should be taken. There is the Ethics Committee of Parliament which could look at it. There is a committee that reviews Integrity Commission reports that could look at it. So those are various possibilities. We haven't had a chance yet to caucus as a parliamentary group to consider what we would be recommending there. But those are two, and there may be other possible courses of action as well that the parliament can take. But the, the, the matter can really concerns accountability through the criminal law, which is what the referral to the director of, the, of corrupt and prosecutions possibly entails, which is a very serious matter. And it's not a matter that prime minister of a country can afford to have hanging over his head because he represents Jamaica at the highest level of governance. And the international community is aware of this, that there have been several reports in the international media arising out of yet this, what has happened here. And you know, the world is looking on, and it's an embarrassment for our country, which is why I've called for him to take away himself and take a leave of absence until the matter is cleared up. And I, 
expect the integrity commission, the, the, the director of corruption prosecutions, to look at it fearlessly, dispassionately, objectively, and with efficiency, so that it is disposed of with alacrity, but not in a way which suggests that it has not been fully digested and considered on its merits.